Welcome to Who Wants to Be On Air with your host, Nick Longo and Andrew Hockerheddle. Oh, well, hey, everybody. <laughs> Good morning. I started out with wow. the very first thing was a wrong button push, so we tried. Uh, and special thanks to our uh, moderator, Wade Acuff, for doing our intro there. Hi, Wade. Thanks, Wade. <laughs> thanks so much, Wade. <laughs> Um, hello and welcome today, uh, Nick. It's a very yeah. special day. Things look different. Do you want to talk a little oh, bit about what's going on? It's a special, special day. It yeah, is. today's the season finale of our back to school week. We, this was a great one. I loved everything we did. I think there was a lot of great learning lessons. But more importantly, how do we end off our typical seasons, Andrew? What do we do? We always do a game show. We do a game show. We give away yeah. a ton of prizes. If you can see behind me. There is a prize wheel here, um, and we do have some prizes to give away. And usually, yeah, that way, got it, yep. Uh, usually we do a fun game of not Jeopardy, uh, but today we are doing something yes. different. Nick, what are we doing today? We are do <laughs> we're playing not who wants to be a millionaire, basically. No. And we were, we, we were, we spent about five minutes thinking about what rhymes with millionaire, whatever, and then Andrew goes, on air. Yep. Who wants to be on air? Who so wants to what we're doing be today. on air? Uh, as well, what does that mean? So, what is that? What so, is, yeah, exactly. That, that means great. that we will be leveraging our Discord more than we ever have before. So if you can see right up above us, it says join the mm -hmm. Discord at discord.gg slash ACC. This is so important, and this is what we need you to do, is we need you to join that Discord. Now, I'm going to show you guys where you can join it. Uh, so what I want you to do is go to that link and then what's going to happen mm -hmm. is you are going to go right over here to where it says classroom chat so in our discord go to classroom chat and you can see wade's in there steven's in there elizabeth colby everyone right now go over to discord get into that voice chat and nick why do you want to be in our voice chat well, you just might be one of the contestants on Who Wants to Be On Air. So we need you in there so we can pick and choose and we'll bring you on. And this is gonna be intense. This isn't that fast paced one that we usually do. These are some tough questions. So yep, exactly. I can't wait. This and our friend Tim says, this will either be the best or worst stream ever. You're right. Welcome to Office Hours. Yes, thank you, Tim. That's our motto Tim every is family week. here. <laughs> it is. Um, all right, so Nick, I'm gonna go ahead and explain a little bit about how the show works, a little bit about the prizes we have. That's right, we do have prizes. Um, so mm -hmm. I'm gonna hop over here and we'll show um, there are five levels, and just like another show that you may have seen that is copying our show, um, you can get to a different level by answering questions in succession. So once you've finished yes. level one, you've answered one question correctly, you can get a lightning project review. Uh, if you want to, you can choose this level and give us a link, and we will look at that project and give you a review right here on the show, right on the spot. Now, if you keep Perfect. going, you get the second one correct, then you will be able to get to level two, which is the Adobe Swag Package. Uh, that's a nice notebook, um, some really fun Adobe swag. Now, we love Adobe, Ooh. we love the swag, but we've promised you forever, <laughs> Office Hour swag is here and it is coming. So we will have that at level three, you can win some Office Hour swag. Level four, Nick, this is one of our favorite things to do. What's the prize for level four? Yeah. We're gonna do a one-on-one -on -one review with the Office Hours team. That's me and Andrew. So that's, that's awesome. if you get to that level and you wanna just freeze right there, you can do it. Yep, and the top prize for the very end, if you get five questions correct in a row, you can spin, dun, 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 the prize wheel. Ooh, just my nice. hands. Uh, and on the prize wheel are a bunch of different prizes ranging from a pair of tiny hands, $20 gift cards, to an Adobe Creative Cloud subscription. Now, something special about the prize wheel, as you can see here at the Ooh, top, there is one reveal. little sliver. If you land sliver. within <laughs> this sliver, you win one of everything on the prize wheel. That is our grand prize. But if you land next to it, you get nothing. Thank you for playing. Nothing. <laughs> you Maybe get we'll nothing. squeeze in a review. <laughs> Good day, sir. Uh, that is what happens. And we see a lot of you pouring into Discord. So make sure that you are over in Discord because then you can be brought on the show. All right, Nick. Um, yeah. I think that Wade is also going to drop that link. So for those of you that are trying to get in, having trouble, Wade's going to yeah. drop that link for it you so you can there. just click on it. Um, all Perfect. right, Nick. We also have yeah. a couple things that will help our contestants get through. Uh, what is the first one? Yes. So the first one is 
Discord a friend. Now, this is something you could do if you are struggling with one of the answers. You can definitely go and Discord a friend to help you out. Yep. And second, you can ask the chat. There is a great chat here on. That's a fun uh, one. That's a fun one. There's a great chat here on Behance. And if you're watching on YouTube, that's not the chat we're asking. Come over to Behance, behance.net no. slash live. That will be the chat that we're on. Mm -hmm. um, and make sure that you chat are giving the right answers because our contestant may come to you at any point uh, to ask for some help. And lastly, Nick, what's up? Oh, this is gonna be a good one. It's Nick versus Andrew. That's one right. of us will give you the right answer and one of us will give you the wrong answer. And so I don't know, that's a little iffy to me. As we're you gonna, know, we're, gonna have some fun there. we're very convincing. <laughs> so it's gonna be a hard, uh, mm -hmm. a hard switch to try to figure out the right answer, but it will eliminate two of the incorrect answers for you. So I think it's exactly. time for us to hop over to Discord and grab our first contestant. Uh, and looking in our classroom chat, I think that the contestant we are going to pull over right now is our friend Colby. Colby Clients. Hey, Colby. Welcome to the show. How are you? We're unmuting. How are you guys doing? There we go. Colby hey. is here and ready to party. Um, all right, Colby. Are you ready to be on air? I am. All right. Awesome. So let's get. And you have not seen these questions yet, correct? Correct. These are all going to be brand we're new making, to me. We're making this as much of the real game show as possible. <laughs> it's true. Uh, oh, yeah. It's all very right. true. Uh, and there's a lot of people in here who are uh, going to have some fun watching. Yes, you are welcome to hang out and watch in chat. Uh, but if you do want to be on the show, we do need two more contestants. If you want to hop over into that classroom chat, uh, chat, yeah. just let Elizabeth know in classroom chat, and we'll bring you on uh, as we go. All right, Nick, do we want to launch it off with our first question? Let's go. Are you ready, Colby? Oh, I am definitely ready. All right. First question is this. In terms of graphic design, what does CMYK stand for? Well, I definitely know this one. So there, this is a good there are options. If you, we'll give you, well, let's, there are let's, options. yeah, let's do this. Okay. We're going to read you out the answers, even though you know it, we feel like we need to go through the motion. So. A because mauve is a color. <laughs> yes, cyan, magenta, yellow or black. B cyan, mauve, yellow and brown. C chartreuse, magenta, yellow and blue. Or D cream, maroon, yellow and black. Ask Nick and well, Andrew. Ask Nick and Andrew. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and save some of those um, other options at the moment. I definitely don't really know what chartreuse is, so I'm gonna go with A final answer. All right, we're Cyan, going with magenta, yellow, black. a final answer. Nick, what is chartreuse? Final answer. What color is chartreuse? Chartreuse? Isn't that a greenish, yellowish kind of uh, thing? Like an electric kind of, oh, like this might be chartreuse. Yeah. Oh, there, there you go. Maybe. Uh, with, all right. a little, with a little avocado in there. <laughs> so we have locked in A, and the correct answer is, dun, 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 dun. It's oh. A, that's right. Sam, magenta, yellow, and black. Congratulations, Colby. You have won oh, you. Um, a... What is our lowest level prize? You are that would oh. be a quick a quick review. Yes, a quick review. Would you like to take the quick review or would you like to continue yes. on with another question? I would like to go big and continue on. Ooh, we're keeping it going. And just keep Kobe, in mind. Have you been on a game show before? <laughs> you're, you're I just have too not, good. but I figured I gotta embrace, you know, the whole game show vibe. Yes. <laughs> this is your test reel. This is your test reel when you go right. on. This is demo, you know. And just know that we did not schedule these questions in order of like, they get harder one to five, they are randomized. Yeah. And so your question oh. two may be a total ringer and you don't yes. know. So good luck, Colby. Uh, oh, thank you. Okay. Here yes. is- Best of luck. Yeah, best of luck. Here is the next question for you um, for that uh, Adobe swag package. The question yes. is this, Nick, do you want to read this one out? Sure. Which historical figure is credited with designing the Great Seal of the United States. Oh, this is a hard it's one. A, this is a hard one. <laughs> Charles Thompson, B, Benjamin Franklin, C, John Hancock, or D, David Swing. Okay, I'm gonna use one of my. Ooh, yes. yes. I don't know what to call them. All right, what are you but, going to use? Uh, life, life jacket. Let's call yeah, it a life. I, let's go to life jacket. I'm not gonna ask the chat because this is a hard one, and the chat's gonna throw me off. I'm oh, not going to Discord a friend because that's still a hard one. I'm going to make Andrew and Nick kind of give me good cop, bad cop, or oh. however it works. All right. Okay. So, you Nick. Pick first, Andrew? Um, <laughs> yes, I'll go first. So, uh, I know this one because I taught design history. 1860, yes. 
uh, Charles Thompson is the one who designed this. Um, it was like early on, it was more of like an etching than like a design. Uh, mm -hmm. And it was used to like stamp things in initially into wax. Uh, so my answer is Charles Thompson. Wow. Nick? Listen to you. I know. Okay. I know things. I, I, I disagree. It was Charles Swing. Um, he was one of the first graphic designers, uh, I believe, hired by the U.S. government at that time. All right, Colby. Oh, you're both very convincing. Which one? That's what we do. That, like, I told you, it's going to be tough. <laughs> yeah. Can I see the options again? Yes. Like, so the options written? are right here. Yes. The ones that it's down to are A, Charles Thompson, which is my answer, and D, David Swing, which is Nick's answer. I'm going to go with A, Charles Thompson, because I feel like Nick called him... David's or Charles swing by accident. All right. So, uh, oh, good one. we do <laughs> Bravo, Bravo. Uh, it looks like we have, um, a very special person in chat. We're going to make you sweat it out. Colby. Uh, we have a very okay. sp special person in chat and that is uh, a new face. It is the Adobe Creative Career. Um, so Adobe Creative Career is a new profile that we've made here on Behance for you. Uh, we're going to be doing live streams there, doing Adobe Max and all kinds of fun stuff. So if you see Adobe Creative Career, uh, drop a comment. Go click on that and follow because it will notify you when we are live Perfect. for Adobe Max. All right, Colby, are you go. ready to right. find out your answer? Lock. Yes. Here we go. All right, we're locked on uh, A, Charles Thompson is what you said, A. right? Correct. You got it. That's right. A hey, Charles Ooh, Thompson. Nice. Congratulations. All right. Well, Toby, you. if I got the name right, would you, did you, would you believe me? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No, you were very convincing. And I was like, I don't remember there being two Charleses. I, and so when I saw the list, I'm like, okay, maybe Andrew's right. It was a good, you know, it, it happens. Oh, it happens most great. of the time. Happens most of the time. <laughs> yeah. Um, all, all right. right. So all congratulations, right. Colby. You have moved on and you have won the Adobe swag package. Would you like to take the swag package, which involves a notebook, some pencils, or would you like to go for the office hours swag package? Mm. I'm going to keep going. I want the, at least the office hours swag package. Sounds like very limited. Edition. There you go. Oh. I like, I like that you settled. This guy, this guy you, knows what's up. You settled <laughs> for the Adobe. Op You're like, oh yeah, I guess I'll go for it. I want at least that. <laughs> All right, I'll go ahead and read this one. This Here we is go. uh uh this is a this is another really hard one. Uh oh, yeah. you have used your um 50 I mean your uh Andrew versus Nick life yes. jacket. You still have two life jackets available. Yes, you have life Discord a friend and you have Ask the chat, chat. and I think that you're going to have to use one of those. Um, oh, and guys. chat, just to help you out here, you guys don't have any rules. Uh Colby can't use Google, yeah. but chat Wink, wink. You can do whatever you want. You can throw want. him off, too. Why not? Um, throw all right. him off. Let's go ahead and hop into that question. Here it is. Colby, in what year did graphic artist Milton Glaser write, or sorry, create the iconic I Love New York logo? What year did graphic artist Milton Glaser create the iconic I Love New York logo? Was it 1982, 1994, 1970, or 1976? Well... I'm gonna use a life jacket on this. I think that you should use a life jacket. Uh, Nick, here's a question for you before we Which hop into one? life jacket. Nick, what were yeah. you doing in 1994? Were you were you in the grunge movement 94? of design? Oh, I love that part of it. Yes. Yes. Flannels, uh, corduroy. Everything. I was too. Come yes, on. lots of textures. Um, all right. So, lots Colby, would you like to use your Discord a friend or would you like to ask the chat? I would like to Discord yes. a friend. All right, you're going to Discord Ooh. a friend. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, hop this in here. And you are going to use your Discord a friend. And who would you like to bring into our call? Oh, gotcha. Okay, so I bring him into the call. Or you can you um, can you can have an independent call if you have someone online ooh. that you want to call. Or bring him on. We'd love to we'd love to hear the back and forth. If you could bring him on, right. that would be okay, great. Then Jack Watson is listening to the chat and jumps in within the next minute or two. If not, I think Elizabeth would be an excellent choice as well. All right. So, wow, okay. I'm nervous though. This, this is such a tough He's one. Get, I, I can, like I I can hear with, that. It's a tough one, yeah, right? I feel like I should go with someone who's maybe been around longer and older who might, you know, have some advice. That's um, true. Do we, do we want to. Actually, Wade. Is Wade available? Uh, Wade? Ooh, Wade is good, available. Good I'm question. just going to speak on his behalf. Let's go ahead and drag in our <laughs> moderator, Wade Acuff, uh, to see if he has an answer for you. All right, Wade, here you come. Hey Wade. Hi, Wade. Wade. How are you doing? But thanks for moderating and also being on the show twice today. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Let's see if we can if, if All right. he unmutes. Wade Wade very often 
we'll we'll see what happens. Um, okay. Colby needs your help. Yes, so we gotta right. we gotta find out. Colby, I can. Go ahead. I can narrow it down. I think I know what it's between. I was gonna say, let's Ooh. see if we can narrow it down yeah. and see if you have two options. What options do you have between those two? Hey, oh, hey wait. there he is. I uh, missed the question because that was my. Oh, let's show the question again. All right, let's drop the question up here. There's a little echo, but that's fine. Um, <laughs> all right, so Wade, in what year did graphic artist Milton Glaser write the iconic "I Love New York" logo? Was it A, 1982? B, 1994, C, 1970, or D, 1976. I, I also want to point out real quick that uh, um, that Colby picked you because he picked someone who may have been around a oh, little longer, it. which I think that is just calling you old. <laughs> yeah, I understand I that. They're more mature. Uh, more mature. More wise. Yes. More yes. wise. Yes. Okay, so, I'm, wait. I'm just going to What, what do you think? Oh, yes. Go for it. Give him, give him your best sorry. guess. Um, want to say seventy? I kind of lean to seventy-six. What do you think, Kobe? I was really leaning to seventy-six. I was thinking Let's between seventy-six, 76 and eighty-two. Then. Okay, it's definitely, mm. the, it's definitely over. It's definitely over eighty-two. All right, thank okay. you, Wade. Your time is up. We're gonna kick you, you back into You're the done. classroom <laughs> chat. Thanks so much. <laughs> All right, um, Colby. So you had yeah. some advice from Wade, and it was nineteen seventy-six. Um, That's correct. We also had him say 1970. Which one do you want to lock in as your final answer? All, well, all on the line. One thing I learned from doing like tests when I was younger is it's usually not the highest answer. It's usually not the lowest answer, but it's one of those somewhere in the middle. Okay. And so okay. I think we're both leaning towards seven, 1976. So I'm gonna lean towards that. So right. it's more in the middle. So D. you're locking in your final D, answer. 1976. Correct. Final answer. Oh. I don't know, Andrew. What do you think? How 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 you feel? You got it. That's right. D nineteen seventy six. Congratulations. Uh, thank you so much, Ew. Wade, for being the Discord you, a friend. Um, and for all of you just joining chat, hi, hello. Um, let's just tell everyone what's going on. Uh, we're doing a game show today called Who Wants to Be on Air. And Nick, what is the content for this game show? It is everything graphic design, you name it. We are here to kind of see if you guys are on top of your game, really, right? This is like the whole the whole reason we're doing this. But it's so much fun to kind of look through there. And these are the things maybe we should know, but maybe we don't. Yep. So we and pick some good ones. If you're just joining us, come hang out over here. Wait for it. That's the button I wanted. Come hang out over here in there Discord. You can see right there, discord.gg slash ACC. Uh, you can hop into classroom chat. We've got a couple people in there. And we are going to be bringing on another contestant in just a few questions uh, for you to win some awesome prizes. We all also have a year of Adobe Creative Cloud that you can win. Right now, we have our friend Colby on. Uh, Colby, do you want to recap on how you're doing? What question are we on right now? Yeah, I think we're doing pretty well. I um, think we're doing pretty well. Right? We're moving on I to mean, question four, I believe. Yes. Yeah, I don't know. I kind of liked the Adobe oh. Office Hours swag. Do you want to yes. me what the prizes were again? So <laughs> the. the, the, the what are prizes? Absolutely. Let me pull up that slide, yes. which is just handy here that I don't have to navigate to as I stall and talk. So the prizes are, um, do uh, you want to risk it all for this next level? <laughs> That's the question. It's true. So right now you are at the office hour swag. Next up, you get the one-on-one -on -one review with us, which I think that you've actually done before. And five, you I get the prize wheel. Now the prize wheel has the creative cloud subscription. It has $20 gift cards. It's got some good stuff on there. So, up to you, Colby. Do you want to keep going, or are you calling it here? Um, so I'm a hardcore Office Hours fan. You know, I'm one of those super yes. fans, so All right. I'll take swag any day, and I think I'm going to call it here. Call it when I'm ahead. Woo! All right. He's calling it. Congratulations, <laughs> Colby. You have won the Office Hours swag. Uh, it is currently in production, and uh, I will send you the link once it is ready to go, and you'll be one of the first. You will be probably the first to have it. I think you're the first person to win that. Yep. Well, that's beautiful. I'm very excited, and I'll post online and brag about it to everyone else i'm sure yes. <laughs> congratulations and that swag does consist of two things it is a sketchbook as well as my favorite piece of merch to make which is a koozie oh, here it comes yeah a koozie y'all yes. we made a koozie <laughs> all right so with that colby uh we are going to bid you adieu chat yes congratulations colby uh we're going to kick you back well into done, the classroom colby. chat thanks so much for being on who wants to be on air bye colby yeah bye thank you 
All right, so we do All have right. another contestant that is lined up. Um, our friend Elizabeth has given it to us, but before we get there, again, we just saw a couple people jump into Discord, and if you haven't, go yeah. into discord.gg slash ACC. Uh, I just saw Justin Von Braun jumped in. We have Namisha is in here, and let our friend Elizabeth know that you want to come on the show. We've got a couple more. Oh, I just got a little message from Elizabeth, so that means we have another contestant. Um, but who, the person we're gonna bring on next is our friend Mimi, who would like to come on the show. So Mimi, congratulations. You are about to be on, who wants to be? On air. On air. <laughs> <laughs> you, that was a good you have to have the break. You're about to be on, who wants to be on? <laughs> who wants to be uh, on air? All right. Uh, Mimi, hello, welcome Mimi, to the show. Welcome. I'm hearing you twice. Oh, why? Oh, you uh -oh. might have the, are you having the, uh, you can turn the sound off on the stream. There stream on? Oh, yep. So yeah. There we go. Um, oh, we got gotcha. you. All right, Mimi. So welcome to the show. Congratulations for being a contestant. Uh, where are you uh, playing from today? My bedroom? Yes. And where, where are you about? Are you located, located? Are you in the States? Where? <laughs> it's in Richmond, California. Yeah, Yay. California, California. Yay. Um, all right, Let's I'm going to go ahead and it. turn you up, um, and we're going to get started with our first question. Nick, if you want to go ahead and handle this, I'm going to turn up the volume. Let's uh, go. Are you ready for your first question, Mimi? Of course not. Let's all go. All right. <laughs> Let's go. That's the motto of this show. It is. All right, here we go. Here's your question. What is the most important goal of a graphic designer? Is it A, communicate a message, B, make studying visual art, C, impress the clients, or D, charge a lot of money? Ooh, I would love to think? say D, but that's just a fantasy, so I will go with A, yes. and communicate a message. Okay, wow, Ooh, just jumping in right away. Final answer, wow, just like on the show. I Ready? love it. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and just reveal right away, because I think that you got it. That's right, it is communicating a message. Nick, do you want to talk about why that's important? Because I think that's an interesting question. Yeah, we've talked about the why, we've talked about all that good stuff about like what we do as a job and it does kind of stem from a message, from a strategy, from a purpose. So when we were looking at this question, we were like, yeah, I mean, some of those could kind of throw you off a little bit, but Mimi knows what's up. So yes, we're good. It's true. Um, all yeah, right. Great, great answer. On to the next question, Mimi. You have currently won a, a lightning review of a project. Would you like to take the lightning review or would you like to keep going for a bigger prize? keep going because it's fun all right yeah, right yes. it's fun I'm, this is this is Come by on. far my favorite show we've ever done so i'm having fun um <laughs> all right so your next question is this uh this is a little bit of a tough one while every design yeah. element serves an important purpose which is the most basic a basic. shape b space c line or d color which of these is the most basic as a design element mm -hmm. wow you do have three life jackets. So you can Discord you your friends. Life jackets. Yep. Mm -hmm. Or you can ask, ask the chat, chat. Or you can put Nick and I against each other. Yeah. I'm kind of enjoying the idea of putting the two of you against each other. Ooh. All right. So it Go sounds it. like you want to use your life jacket of Nick versus Andrew. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. So we are pulling out the Nick versus Andrew, and on this one. Nick, I think that Did I go first. I think that you should go first on this one, Nick. Uh, so, Nick, yes. Which answer do you Basic. think is right? Let me go ahead and put up the question one more time so that we can all see it. And Nick, which answer is the correct answer? It's shape, one hundred percent shape. You can't have anything else without. I'm sorry, not shape, space. I think space is it. Okay, well, space is that ideal. Yeah. Nick seemed really unsure on that. And so my answer yeah. <laughs> is is line because line makes up all these other things. Uh, it makes up shapes. The line is makes up the space. Um, and it also could make up colors. Like you need a line to have a color. Um, so yeah, my answer space for all of it. is C line. <laughs> Nick's answer is B space. Mimi, B which space. one is your answer? Damn, those were the two I was trying to decide before. <laughs> we didn't help at all. <laughs> Not at all. Oh my God. You could use another yeah, life jacket if you want. We know how to call it. Yep, you could ask the chat or you could uh, Discord a friend. Ooh. Can you do doubles? Yeah. Oh, really? Why not? There's no rules. Yeah. Okay. We're changing um, it. This is our game. <laughs> I'm going to ask the ask chat. chat. All right. Yeah. So we are going chat. to use our life jacket and chat. We need your help right now. Uh, the question is, what, uh, while every design element serves an important purpose, 
which is the most basic? So here's the question. Mm. It is currently see, between either B or C. Uh, a and D have been eliminated. And let's see if the chat knows. Uh, Mimi, can you see the Ooh. chat? Yeah. See, they're, Kobe, they're, they're Frank, they're they got it. Yep, there is a they're lot. Like Corey, the, everyone. Everyone's everyone fighting. Yeah. It's space. Okay, I'm ready to go. All right, oh, what is your okay. answer? It's space. So your answer is B space? B space. Do you want to lock it in? That's... <laughs> oh, it's line. <laughs> Unfortunately, it is line. The lines and... are no good without space. Here's the thing. That's how I feel. This is Nick's question. Nick, can you justify why this is wrong? Because I definitely feel like space yeah. might be a right answer. I think, well, I think what they were trying to say here is that line is that first and most basic design element. It's the essential principle in which the most simple stroke, it means connecting two points in a design. And so space is three dimensional and kind of all over the place where line is your most basic element when it comes to design. Okay, I think, I, Mimi, yeah. I'm going for you. I think that a line connects two points in space. That's what a line is, which means that space has to exist before the line does. That's how I feel. I'm giving it to you, Mimi. We're gonna call it a right answer. I know okay. that Nick probably hates that, it. but uh, yeah, I'm pushing the buttons here, so. I think <laughs> that's the beauty of our show is we can we can be convinced otherwise. Yes. I still, I don't believe it as well, even though it's, the, it's I was trying to, to pump it up. <laughs> yes. All right. So let's right, keep so going. We're giving here. it to her. We're, yeah, we're going to give it to you. We'll give you a mulligan on that one. Um, and we, oh, here, how about this? We'll save you, but we won't progress you. So you're still at level one. And this question okay. is now for level two. Uh, That's fair. Yes. Nick, this great is a great question. question. Do you want to go ahead and hit this one? Yeah. Are you ready for this one? What famous Hollywood logo features the silhouette of a young boy fishing? Is it A, Illumination? B, DreamWorks, C, Pixar, or D, Disney? Ooh. Two possibilities, but I think I remember now. It's B, DreamWorks. All right, B, DreamWorks. Final answer. Final answer. Yes, yes. All right. That's correct, Let's you got it. We got. That's a good one. Yes. Yes, so congratulations. Yay. You are at prize number two, which is the Adobe Swag package. Would you like to keep going for uh, office hours Ooh. and further office uh, hours? Prize? Wait, what? Oh, would you like to keep going? Want to keep going? <laughs> sure, please. Okay, cool. Got it. Um, all right, next question. I'll go ahead and read this one because this is mine. This is from our season that we just finished uh, that was the uh, back to school season. I just forgot. Uh, back to school, we talked <laughs> wow. a lot about um, different movements. Uh, this is from uh, a very special lesson, one of my favorite stories. And if you are using the Bernhard formula uh, coined by Lucien Bernhard, which of these combinations would be appropriate? Is it A, faith, trust, and pixie dust? B, texture, product, and portrait? C, name, product, and color? Or D, type, frame, and color? Oh boy. Yes. How many things have I used up already? Uh, you have chat? already used up your Ask the Chat and your Andrew versus Nick. So yes. you do have Discord a friend if you would like to Discord a friend. Um, the chat is, yes, chat, you are able to uh, answer the questions. We'll actually maybe give some prizes out to chat as they have uh, extra questions. So keep answering. Mm -hmm. We might throw some stuff to you during the show. Um, but yes, you are able to discord a friend if you like. Bernard formula, these combinations. That's the episode Ooh, I missed. Oh. <laughs> so I'm trying to think product. about a logical Perfect. side. Like, uh, you can look into classroom chat. So in classroom chat, we currently have Audrey. We have Elizabeth, Justin mm -hmm. Von Braun, Namisha. We have Stephen Booth and our friend I see a Wade. Bunch of bees. I see a bunch of bees. That was one of the ones I tried to decide Ooh. between B and D. I'm trying to be honest with you. I do not know the answer to this. <laughs> so, I'm, so I'm looking at it and trying to figure out which ones go together better. And what, what episode was this from again? Uh, uh, this was from, I believe, the... Um, was it theater? I think it was theater. Okay, so I that tells me a little bit more. Do you think it was theater? Or, let's see. Um, Texture, product, portrait. 
faith, trust. Let's see here, chat, trust. chat. We're gonna uh, ask That's you. That's all here. over the place. The chat is all <laughs> over the place. Uh, was anyone here that is in chat that is also in Discord? Does anyone see that episode? Uh, it looks like not a lot of people know this. This is a hard one. Uh, do we want to take a guess or would you like to take your prize that you currently have, which is the uh, Adobe prize pack? Is this the same Bernhard as like the typeface Bernhard Gothic and all that? It is not. Okay, so that's not cool. <laughs> let's see. I'm trying to figure it out too. You could, I mean, let's so see. Are we going to use I'll give you a little bit of a clue. I'll give, you a, I'll give you a little <laughs> bit of a clue. Um, when we looked at this, it was an example of matches. It was matches on a poster for Priester matches. Mm. Oh, oh, I remember that. And it looks like Justin okay. Von Braun does have oh. an answer that may be helpful. Uh, if you want to Discord a friend, he is in the classroom chat. Okay, I remember this. Okay, I think I got this one now. All right. What it's is the your simplest answer? one? Am I right about that? Let me see. Color product. Okay. Okay, I'm going to go for C. All name, right. product, and color. We're going for C, name, product, and color. Do you want to lock it in? Final answer? Ooh, fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. As much as I can possibly lock, yes. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> it is C. Like, Good work, chat. It took yes. chat a little while to Thank get there you, as chat. well. Uh, so Justin, name, I remember those. product, and color. <laughs> um, we did look at the example that was the Priester matches, and it is just a big name. Uh, Lucien Bernhard, one of my favorite designers. All right. So that is number three. Uh, you are on the uh, Office Hours prize pack. And moving on, yes. the next uh, level is... A one on one? I believe it was. I think it's a one on one review. It's a one on one yes. review. Would you like to keep going, Mimi? A one on one review would be amazing. Okay, yeah. let's try it. Let's try it. All right, here we go. Um, this, All right. Actually, Nick, you go ahead and read this one. This is a little bit of a hard, but you might know it. Ooh, okay. This golden ratio follows this sequence 0, 1, 1, 2, 3, 5, 8, 13, 21. <laughs> that is A, Gaussian, B, Fabron, Fabron, <laughs> Fibonacci. <laughs> no, Fibonacci. There's no R in that. Newtonian. Yeah. Uh, Newtonian. And you go, just go right ahead. Pythagorean. And pronounce that. <laughs> <laughs> Pythagorean. I love it. What do you think? Pythagorean. No, it's not. I'd say B, Fibonacci. All right. B, Fibonacci. Yes, we are talking about a Fibonacci sequence. Uh, yes. That is the golden ratio as we have it. Congratulations. <laughs> so you have won now a one-on-one -on -one review. Would you like to take the one-on-one -on -one review or go for the prize wheel? The prize wheel does have a one-on-one -on -one review on it. It also has $20 gift cards, yes. tiny hands, and a Creative Cloud subscription uh, if you spin it. What would you like to do, Mimi? Wow. Tiny hands is so tempting. <laughs> However, I <laughs> think... <laughs> That's a good one. <laughs> it really is. Go I don't have tiny for, hands. Go for it. What? Mimi, well, Mimi, oh, but that one-on-one -on -one Mimi, is so Mimi. valuable. You're you can, really pushing it. You yeah. can totally take the one-on-one, -on -one, or you can go. The, there, mm -hmm. there are one-on-ones on the prize wheel. You know yes. what? Spin the wheel is more. It, it's more daring. I'll go for what's dare. All oh. right. It sounds good. Let me. She's gonna do it. Let me make sure. Okay. You're you're gonna be just fine because the next question is kind of uh, kind of easy and yes, chat is going wild for the prize wheel. I agree. Prize Here's wheel. the next question. <laughs> oh, I think that you're gonna happy. get a prize wheel. Nick, do you want to read this question? Let's do it. All right. Are you ready? Let's do Which it. Which color scheme is best reflected by the image shown above? I what do you think? Monochromatic. You got it. Monochromatic. Oh, we're just going straight in. Doesn't even need answers. Monochromatic. I figured, yeah. Yeah, that's right. The answer is monochromatic. Congratulations. You have won a spin on the legendary prize wheel. <laughs> oh my wheel. god. This is, a, dun, dun, this is dun. crazy. We made it to the we made it to the wheel. I'm so excited. I'm actually so excited about this. All I right. really wanted this to happen. All right. We are going to spin the prize wheel. There are spin agains, there are one-on-ones, and there also is the win one of everyone if it falls in this exact little part. All right, are you ready to spin, Mimi? Let's go. Let's do it. <laughs> Fingers crossed, Mimi. Big spin. Oh my gosh. And you won tiny oh. hands. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> Congratulations, you have won yourself a pair of tiny hands. I will send you a DM uh, to get those shipped out to you and you will have your own personal set of teeny tiny little hands. Uh, congratulations, yes. thanks for being on the show, Mimi. Thank you, that great was so much job. fun. Thank you everybody for helping. All the way to the top, yes. I love it. And thank you, chat, you did a great job at helping. Uh, we're gonna get you out of here and bring another person on. We have time for one more person. So bye Mimi, thanks for being on. Thank you. Thanks Mimi. All right, next up, we're just gonna hit, go- hit us up for that one-on-one. -on -one. We'll, we'll, we'll definitely- Yeah, yeah, sure. yeah, send us a DM Anytime. and we'll figure something out. Absolutely. Um, let's go, I love that Tiny Hands is an emoji. It makes me so happy. Uh, let's go ahead and yes. bring our next person on because we want to get through pretty fast. Um, and our next person what is going got to next? be Justin Von Braun, uh, who I think is semi-new to the show. I think he's watched before. Um, let's go ahead and bring Justin on the show. Um, Justin, here we go. Hello, Mr. Justin up, Von Justin? Braun. Welcome to the show. There's always a second. I think you might be on mute. mute still. Yeah, there's always oh, a yeah, setting yeah, that they're like, oh, I have to change my mic mm -hmm. and I have to do the thing. <laughs> and I'm live I, I, on office hours. I had, to, I had to mute the stream and then mute Discord and then unmute Discord and mute the stream and then unmute the stream. Yes, pure chaos. <laughs> uh, now we got gotcha. you. All right, Justin, we're going to hop in here. Where are you from? Oh, yeah, where are you? Uh, I am based in New York City. Oh, great. New York. Welcome. <laughs> all right. I, man, I'm in a singing mood today. Um, all right, Justin, um, tell us about you because you're a designer. I know a little bit. What's your design company? Where can people find you? All that fun stuff. Uh, I am a commercial brand designer here in New York City. My company is Do More Design. You can find me on Instagram at do more design dot studio. Um, you can great. go to do more dot TV. Yeah. Sweet. Uh, and also awesome, hop on man. Behance and check that out. So let's go ahead and hop in. Let's get you some questions. Let's get you to that prize wheel. And uh, we've got about 18 minutes to do it. So let's hop in are here. Are you ready? Oh, yeah. Are you ready? Yeah, of course. Okay. To be on air. <laughs> He's like born ready. <laughs> All right, Nick, go ahead and read our first question here. All right. Are you ready? Here we go. Which of the following is not a key step in the graphic design process? A, define, B, create, C, test, or D, socialize? Uh, I am going to go with D, socialize. All right. This okay, is a is weird your, question. I had to look answer? at it a couple times. Yeah. Is that your final yeah, answer? This is a weird yeah. question. Uh, yeah, that's my final answer. <laughs> all right, cool. We'll give it to you. It is de-socialized. Congratulations. Yeah. Yes. Uh, guy knows right. what's up. And uh, yes, Mimi is saying, wow, uh, Justin has a breadth of branding. Yes, Justin does a ton of stuff. Um, so do. congratulations, Justin. First question down. Let's keep going. Let's get to that prize wheel. Um, next up. Right. Ooh, this is a tough one. This, oh, this might be a life jacket. We didn't ask him. We didn't ask him if he wanted to go further. Oh, <laughs> of course I want to go further. <laughs> okay. That's what I thought. We're just making you go. <laughs> Here we go. All right. So, uh, Justin, the Nike logo is inspired by the Greek goddess of blank. Is it a victory B flight C champions or D air? This is a little bit of a tough question. Mm-hmm. Um, any, any ideas? I, 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 I want to say flight because it like reminds me of the, the Greek god who has the little wings on the side of his shoes, which totally mm -hmm. makes sense to me. Um, okay. Would you like I know to more about, it? I know more about the history of the logo than I know which goddess it's based on, which is funny. Yeah. We and, all know. Um, there there are it. people in chat that are saying that they do know the answer if you would like to use your life jacket Ooh. to ask the chat. Might be um, wise. I think I'm. I, I think I'm gonna go with the the winged goddess of victory. All right. So the winged goddess of victory. Uh, A is your final answer. You locking in? Yeah. All right. There isn't a slide with the answer. So Nick, is that the right answer? <laughs> I don't believe it is. I I've, believe I've, it is champion. I've deleted the right answer. Victory. Let's, uh, it's victory. Let's confirm here. It is victory. Congratulations. Let's yes. just, let's say you got it. I don't know why I deleted it or where it is, yeah. but congratulations. Oh, we made a little mistake. Question yes. number two. Oh, it is. Let's go on to question number three. You, oh, sorry. Do you want to keep going to question number three? Yes. Yeah, of course. Sweet. Yeah, it, 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 it is only an office hour show. Something goes terribly wrong. So congratulations. Welcome yes. to office hours. Um, you made it. All right. This one's a little trickier. Um, it's specific. It's a question that I wrote specific to my background with newspaper design. And we talked about this a little bit in one of our episodes. This level of type hierarchy often used in newspaper design sits below the heading one level. 
Is it A, body copy, B, deck, C, call out, or D, heading two? Which of those uh, is directly my, below? And based on my experience with web design, which is very similar, um, I I want to say it's heading two because you have the main heading, subheading, and then the body. Okay. Um, do we want to use a, any kind of life jacket here? We can uh, Discord a friend, mm -hmm. ask the chat. You could put Nick and I against each other to go 50-50. Yeah. Um, I am going to put the two of you to go head to head because I know, Andrew, that you know the answer. Okay, sounds good. Uh, <laughs> Nick, would you like to give your answer for this question? I'm going to go with H2. That just makes sense to me. Um because I'm not a newspaper or editorial person, but I do know a little bit about that. So I'm going to go with H2. All right. I am a newspaper editorial person. And after the headline, if you have a headline right underneath it, instead of being the headline two, you actually call it the deck because it sits right underneath that first headline. And then you can get to the headline two under that, but the deck sits between the two. So Justin, would you like okay. to go with Nick or I on the correct answer? I'm definitely your own. with you, Andrew. It's me. I know the answer. Yes, that's right. It is the deck. I wrote that question. Uh, it is B, the yes. deck. Uh, it is specifically used within journalism, uh, but it is a level between H1 and H2 uh, before body copy, which comes at the end. All right. So we are three questions in question mark? That was three. Yeah. All so right. now he's made it to a... He's made it to Adobe swag. Yes, you've made it now, to Adobe. Does he risk office hour swag, right? Yes, this is level three. Yeah, yes. Yeah. yes. Yeah, I will continue on. All right, we're going on. All right. Your next question is this, Nick. You're going to go ahead and read this one because I think it's yours. No, it yes, is mine. Oh, it. this is such right. a hard question. <laughs> oh. Okay. Oh. Nick, oh. go ahead. We're going to burn away go. jacket oh. here. You, you go. You go for it. All right. Go for it. A color palette consisting of the colors red, blue, and yellow would be considered this classification. Is it a complementary? B, monochromatic, C, analogous, or D, a triad? This, this is a really tough one, Justin. It's kind of scary because it could actually be any of them. I'm like, I'm trying to think which one is the better definition. So you do have two life jackets left. Again? You can discord a friend or you can ask the chat. Ooh, a few people is... know in chat. Could be worth asking. I mean, I I know it as something else, so I'm like, I'm trying to... They are indeed uh, primaries, yeah. is probably what you're thinking of, right? No, I was thinking of the subtractive color model, because okay. that's RYB. Um, I, I'm going to go with the triad, maybe. Yeah, okay. it's got to be triad. Why are you going with triad? Three colors. Because there's only three colors, it makes sense. That's, that is the best deductive reasoning I've ever heard. <laughs> and I, it's oh, I didn't three. Because monochromatic is one, <laughs> complementary would be two, and analogous would also be one. And so, yes, the correct answer is triad. Yes. Bravo. Yeah. Um, because I know it's not monochromatic go, and I know it's Justin. not complementary. So. Yes. So it is a triad because it is three colors, uh, basically makes a triangle on the color wheel. And so that is known Perfect. as a triad. I am so impressed yep. by the logic <laughs> skills that just happened there. See, that's all it takes. Oh, it's just a little like, you know, it makes sense. Okay. Here's your next question that confirms that you did have the right answer. That's right. It was a... <laughs> <laughs> the Greek goddess of victory. It was victory. I, I don't and know. We need. We, how did it get in that spot? <laughs> no idea. No idea. Um, nice. We right. are not game show producers, guys. We just play. T we just play a few on TV. It's That's true. All we yep. do. Yeah. Um, all right. Let's move on. This is question number four, I believe. And he wants to move on. He wants to move yeah. on. Yeah. Right? Yeah. All right. Is this? Yeah. This right. is for a one-on-one -on -one review, correct? Okay. All right. Here we go. Question is here. This is this is another tough one. I'm so sorry, but we can we can use we can use some answers. Who is regarded as the first graphic designer? Was it A. Oh. Milton Glaser, B. David Carson, C. William Addison Dwiggins, or D. Saul Bass? The first graphic um, designer. First, really, if, if you think of regarded, like that's the first one, not the first actual one, but kind of the first one to make make a name for him. You know. And you do have well, okay. the Ask the Chat and the Discord a friend. Yes. Yeah, because the first the first graphic designers were like were like German. We, we monks. reviewed those. Yes, exactly. Right. <laughs> um, I'm gonna say it's William Addison Dwiggins. 
Is that your final any, answer? Any reason why? Uh, I know William Addison Dwiggins was um, one of the first known graphic designers in 1922. Um, okay. Ooh, look at this guy with the with the dates. He knows well, things. I, I, I know <laughs> things about graphic designers. I'm gonna yeah, I'm gonna go with William Addison Dwiggins. Man, Nick, we All have right. met our match on this show. It is indeed William this. Addison there Dwiggins. Nice. Bravo. Um, and we have one more question for you. Uh, right. And thankfully, before we get there, we do have a lot more questions, which means that this show is going to come back. Uh, this is this is my favorite yes. show now. So we're going to be doing this again at the end of our next season, probably to close out the year. So if you didn't get on today, come back at the end of our next season, which will be called Behind the Scenes. Our next season is called uh, After Hours. Uh, Nick, what's we our next season called? Forgetting. Off the record. Off the record. <laughs> Off That's the record. right. Nice. We'll be starting that yes. after Adobe Max. Uh, so make sure you stick around for yeah. that. All right. Here is your very last question. Uh, this is, and uh, man, this it's is for hard, everything. It's hard that you just said that you know graphic design stuff because this is a copywriting question. Would oh, you like no. to continue Ooh. to the fifth question that is a copywriting uh, yeah. question? I do have He's my doing book, it. so. All right, Nick, Let's do you do want it. to go ahead and read this one? Sure, <laughs> are you ready? Yes. All right, which of these elements is not an element of an efficient story structure? Is it A, climax, B, falling action, D, epilogue, or D, exposition? What do you think? Ooh, this is not, not an element, an element of an efficient, so efficiency, hmm, okay. And we can What's ask the not chat being here. Efficient? Uh, we can Discord yeah. a friend and chat for your reference. Uh, let's see if any Ooh. of you can get the right answer. Uh, we did talk about this during our, believe, theater episode when we talked about world building and storytelling. So chat, if you know the right answer, put it in chat and we'll be giving away um, one of the Office Hours prize packages to one of you that we see put the mm -hmm. right answer in chat. Yes. Um, Justin, would you like to use a life what jacket? Think? What's your zone right now? Uh, yeah, I'm gonna use a life jacket. All right, would um, you like to Discord I'm a friend or well. ask the chat? No, I'll, I'll, I'll lean on the chat. We'll see what they have to say. All right, chat. Cool. Um, our friend right, chat. Justin is a little bit. counting on you. Here's the question. Which of these elements is not an element of an efficient story structure? Is it climax, falling action, epilogue, or exposition? Uh, this is a so really think, tough one. Yeah, which one's not needed? Which yep. one is not needed? But we definitely that's, that's how I'm that's how I'm looking at it. Yep. I don't know the exact answer, Justin, honestly, but I'm looking at it and going, there's one there that tells me that's really not needed. And there is definitely when we looked at this, there was a slide that had different points that kind of went up and down and across. So if you guys are thinking about that, it's in a lesson. It's mm -hmm. probably in Discord if someone wants to go look at it um, from our, uh, I believe, theater <laughs> episode. So chat so far. Any, any thoughts? What? Yeah. There is D. There is A. Uh, exposition is a detailed summary. It's always needed. Uh, mm -hmm. A climax. D. Tim Mobus says C question mark. So does Frank C. says C. Frank says C. If it's yep. any con consolation, Tim and Frank, who both say C, are regulars on the show. Um, Elizabeth yep. is also a regular who says it's not exposition. Ooh, the C's are coming I, in I hot. Don't, I don't think it. I don't think it's expo exposition because you have you have the exposition, then the climax, and then I don't know. I want to say it's epilogue because epilogue to me doesn't seem like a the most valuable part of a story structure. All right, and chat, you mm -hmm. definitely were saying a lot of epilogue, and yeah. guess what? It's the right answer. That's right. It is epilogue. Yes. And we're going to go ahead go. and give a prize to our friend Namisha. Uh, Namisha, thanks so much for doing the right answer. And thanks so much for also yeah. being over in our classroom chat. I saw you over there. So send me a DM here on Behance or in Discord, and we will get you hooked up with your prize. Congratulations, and thanks for playing along. Um, and Justin, you go. did it. Congratulations. Yes, it's, boop, it's boop, the boop. wheel time. <laughs> All right, Justin, Bring are you ready on. to spin the prize wheel? Heck yeah, I am. All right, what are you hoping for on here? What what would be a win for you if you got it? Uh, the the win for me, I don't know. I'm I'm not super huge on the tiny hands, so okay. Um, take it all. A one on take it all. A one on one, yeah, one on one would be nice, but the the take all would be pretty awesome. All right, we all right, we'll give you the same happens. thing that we gave Mimi. If you land on tiny hands, you can pick between the one on one and tiny hands. All right, okay. here we go. We are going to spin <laughs> the prize wheel. Good luck, Justin. Oh. 
Oh, crossing oh, my fingers. Oh. $20 gift card. Congratulations. Oh, nice. $20 Yay. gift card. You can uh, get it to pretty much wherever you want as long as I can send it digitally. Um, and I'll follow up with you to get you that prize. Um, and thanks so much for being on the show, Justin. Yeah, of course. Did you have a thanks good time? For having me. Of course I had a good time. Oh, yeah. Uh, I'm going to kick you back <laughs> into the class and chat. Man. Thanks for joining us. Bye, Justin. All right, bye. All right. Well, that's pretty much the show today. Um, Nick, that was so I fun. Know. Two big winners. Two big winners. Two big actually, winners. three, because no, no losers today, actually. There were no great. losers. Yeah. And I, I definitely think the prize wheel like took a beating. There were little pegs like flying off. So I need to assess the current situation of the prize wheel to see if it comes back again. Um, Do we have to check with our judges on that? Like, is that is that something, you know? Yes, 100%. <laughs> Did it interfere with the yeah, wheel? It interfered. <laughs> yes, our insurance lawyers are going to be so angry. Um, so with that, Hilarious. this has been one of my favorite shows we've ever done. We do have a couple minutes left, and I wanted to reserve that time to tell you all about something very special. Nick, I'm going to make you segue and try to pick my brain. Where am I going with our segue? I don't. I think you're going to a big old week that's coming up soon, and that is the Adobe Max week that's coming up. And we are going to be a big part of it through the week all the way starting on the day before on Monday where we're going to be doing our max challenge and max preview. This is our way of kind of giving you like this like walkthrough, particularly if you've never gone to max or if you've never experienced it. We're going to help you through it every day of the week. So that's what's happening on Monday. Andrew, what's happening on Tuesday? So on Tuesday, we have more content for you. We are doing something very special in the morning, uh, pretty much every morning, and that is Max Your Max. And Max Your Max will be a mm -hmm. show um, that is going to be showing you all about the stuff that's happening that day at Max. Um, it will give you all the insider information, and then we'll be ending the day in Discord with a daily recap. And if you want all of this information to just sync to your calendar, you can actually go right here, bit.ly slash ohcal. So, uh, Mod, okay. if we can drop that in there, bit.ly slash ohcal. Um, you can put all this, just sync it to your calendar, and then you'll have it all there for you so you don't have to do anything else. Um, so continuing on, Perfect. Nick, on Wednesday, what's happening? It's my favorite day. Yeah, it's a big day. It's a big day for us. We're going to start it again at 8 a.m. with the Max Your Max. We're going to tell you a little bit about the day, things to look out for throughout the, your, your day and going through all your different courses. At 9 a.m., we're going to do a Sneaks Live commentary. And for those of you who don't know what Sneaks is, that's when Paul and I believe it's going to be Keenan Thompson this week, this year yes. are going to show off all the new technology that Adobe is going to start sneaking into applications over the next few years. So we'll be doing a live commentary slash watch party, and then it will We'll end with our daily discord recap at 5 p.m. What's yep. happening on Thursday? So Thursday morning, we'll be doing the Max Your Max again. That happens every morning of Adobe Max. And Friday, we'll be right here as usual with a very special Max recap episode, which will also be our Halloween spooktacular. So it's going to be a little yes. spooky, a lot informative. We're going to look at new features, all kinds of fun stuff that's coming. Um, and the only place that you can get involved and you can get all of that content uh, okay, there are two places. One is... Two places. Nope, wrong button. This one. Nick, what, <laughs> what resource is this where they can be? This is our Discord. This is exactly where we'll be doing all the fun chats and everything. And, and where's our other spot? So our other spot is going to be actually in a couple places. So you can go to bs.net slash live and we hopefully will be on the front page. Uh, but if not, you can actually click on the Adobe Creative Career profile that is right there. Adobe Creative Career, if you wanna give a comment, uh, that would be great so that people can click through. Go and follow that profile, Adobe Creative Careers. Mm -hmm. um, and that will be where we're going live. It should stream over to the front page of Behance, but if you wanna get But it's uh, just a good backup. Yep. Go ahead and click mm -hmm. right there, and that will be where we're going live on Behance each morning to do Max or Max um, and to do any other special content, which is going to be super fun. Wonderful. What Nick, are you looking forward to the most? Uh, I'm looking forward to sneaks. I love sneaks. Like, they yeah. could literally show me, like, a recipe for, like, making squash, and I would be like, yes, Adobe Sensei yeah. technology. Yeah, and it looks like Paul's been, Paul's been teasing a little bit on his uh, Instagram, so it looks like there's some really good stuff happening. Yes. I can't wait for that. And Paul's well, the best. Be I fun. love Paul. Um, it's just fun. Yeah. So... Yes, follow, follow, follow. Thank you, Adobe Creative Career. Um, and someone, thank you, Elizabeth, also just dropped that over in the Discord uh, right there. So you can follow that account right there in the Discord. So thanks so much, nice. everyone, for hanging out with us today. That was Nick, great. I'm going to leave you with the last word for our season of back to school. What advice do you have people going back to school, getting in the middle oh, of their semesters? What this advice is the best do you have? one. I've got it. I, 
I think you'll you'll agree on this. You never stop learning. Yep. We're, we've both become even teachers of this thing, and you're still learning every single day. So just never stop learning. That's the best tip you can get from anybody. It's true. So thanks so much for tuning yeah. in for this season. We'll be back next week with a Max preview. We have three weeks of Max specials, and then we'll be starting a new season. So stick around for some Max content in the next few weeks, and uh, we'll see you there. Yes. I'm going to leave the calendar up Hi, so you guys can screenshot it as we close out the show. See you later. Thanks for everything, guys.